And since the governor included it in his State of the State address, trying to do something with small business, um, we thought we would come up with, a, with an idea on how to do small business. Obviously, that's where most of the jobs come from, like 80% of, of the new jobs are generated by small business. And what we want to do is just take a component, take a component of the small, the quality jobs program and try to tailor it to, to small business. And I'm also going to give credit to, to Jason over here um, because he, he came up with, a, with, a, with an idea. Um, the quality jobs program right now has, is based on 100% of the, the county average wage. In, in some cases for small business, that's probably just a little too high. So what we try to do is bring it down just a little bit and, and say if you're 85%, and it's, it's an arbitrary number, but just say if you're then 85% of the county average wage and you pay at least 50% of your, your health insurance uh, to, for your employees, um, that if you're a small employer uh, with four employees, that if you add on at least 20% of your payroll, that you could qualify for this tax credit. Um, the problem is with, I don't know if most of you know, if you, it, oh, there it is. Uh, there's one of our witnesses. Thank you very much. We thought you were gone. But anyway, um, the problem is if you're a small business, if, as long as you're under four employees, you do not have to um, have workers' comp insurance and things like that. If you go over that threshold, then a number of regulations come on come on board, and, and not only regulations but also a lot more costs. This way, it helps an employer recoup at least some of that by adding employees to the mix in in creating jobs. Um, I will apologize. You know, we in, in the Quality Jobs Act, we do have a cap. In this, we do not. Um, and what I what I'm probably going to try to do is 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 I'm going to add a cap, and it's going to be an arbitrary cap, but somewhere I'm going to say five million dollars or less uh, as as a as a trial balloon. I think it's with a new program. We kind of got to see whether this program is going to be successful or not. But it's a start. Uh, but there certainly, I think, needs to be a cap, and um, we're, we'll, during the discussions, we'll negotiate where that cap is, but I think it certainly ought to be no more than $5 million, uh, and if we can make it less than that and make it successful, then that's where we're going to be. So I'll tag Senator Schmidt and go from there. And I'm sure it's uh, easy to confuse Senator Griesheimer and myself uh, by our appearance. And, yes. Uh, so the, uh, we look so the, bill, the bill is very similar as well. Um, it, it's, uh, it's an honor to be able to present this bill. I think what this bill, uh, the idea is, and, and uh, we're hoping it receives some bipartisan support, because it's certainly mentioned in the governor's uh, state of the state address, but there is a real need uh, to encourage and help foster uh, small business uh, growth in this state. As Senator uh, Griesheimer mentioned, about 80% of all new jobs are created by small businesses. I think we've identified that the Quality Jobs Act has been a successful one. And this has been referred to as sort of quality jobs light um, to be able to um, help us encourage small business activity in this state. The other thing that it does, uh, which I think is important too, it also rewards those companies that are uh, providing health insurance for their employees. And we talk a lot about uh, the need for expanding coverage and having uh, employees covered through their employer is certainly something positive that we want to encourage in this bill, or these bills uh, do that. So uh, we think this is something that uh, Hopefully, we'll gain a lot of support and uh, open it up to any questions. I appreciate the leadership that you're taking on this issue. I believe my business uh, represents uh, or reflects uh, a good cross section of those in the state of Missouri. Uh, I have 15 full time employees, six part time employees. I provide uh, health insurance for a number of those. Uh, full-time employees that, that need it, that uh, are unable to uh, acquire it elsewhere. Uh, we understand that uh, when we create a job, it doesn't uh, get the headline. Uh, you know, if the Lebanon Daily Record says Bailey's TV creates one new job, or the Lebanon Daily Record headline, maybe Copeland Corporation creates 200 new jobs, I know that uh, it's not as glamorous, perhaps, uh, for that headline to be uh, printed. 
Uh, we uh, consider ourselves a family business. Many of our employees, uh, we have been employed with us for years. Uh, we go to church with a number of those individuals. Uh, they're, they're family, and we treat them like family. Uh, we're proud to say that in 37 years, we've not had a layoff. Uh, so we do try to provide the benefits uh, that we're able to do so and, and and that's a very difficult proposition at times just with a with a cost of business so I would just encourage uh, uh, this body to uh, pass this legislation as, as it uh, moves forward through the through the uh, process um, the uh, small business owners uh, I think would really appreciate this uh, you know oftentimes we uh, uh, do everything we possibly can to expand and look at opportunities or look for opportunities and uh, just would prefer that there be no uh, no uh, uh, impediments to doing so so anything you can do to uh, uh, help us uh, we would greatly appreciate it and